Hi there. In this video, we are going to be creating our new estimator, which we're going to call beta tilde. And this is going to be another linear unbiased estimator. And we're going to derive the set of conditions on beta tilde for it to be an unbiased estimator. And that's going to set us up well because then we can use what we've derived in this video to help us derive the variance of beta tilde. So if beta tilde is a linear estimator, then that means that the beta tilde has got to be the sum from i equals 1 to n of some sort of weighting, which I'm going to call bi, times our dependent variable values, yi. And we can write this out um, a bit more explicitly using the fact that we know that there is some sort of population model, which is yi is equal to beta, uh, alpha plus beta times xi plus ui. So substituting this in for yi here, we have that beta tilde is equal to the sum of i equals 1 to n of bi times alpha plus beta xi plus ui. Yeah, so I've just substituted this into here. Uh, and then I can write this out in terms of the individual terms as being alpha times the sum of i equals 1 to n of bi, because alpha isn't, uh, doesn't have any sort of index of summation, plus beta times the sum of i equals 1 to n of bi xi, plus finally the sum of i equals 1 to n of a b or our bi times ui. Okay, so... In this video, we're interested in finding out the conditions under which our new estimator beta tilde is unbiased. Stated mathematically, that means that the expectation of beta tilde should be beta. In other words, if I carry out this, um, if I take samples from a population enough times and use beta tilde to estimate beta in each of those samples, then on average, it gets it right. On average, it actually estimates this true population parameter correctly. So how do you derive the set of conditions for this to be the case? Well, I just need to take the expectation of basically this and this. So, or take the expectation of both sides of the equation, probably a better way of thinking about it. So we have the, the expectation of beta tilde is going to be, well, alpha times the sum of i equals 1 to n times bi, well that's all okay because that's just a number, so the expectation operator passes straight through that. And again, similarly with the second um, part of this equation, it's just going to be beta times the sum of i equals 1 to n of bi xi. And, and notice that our expectation operator is going to pass through the second term, um, similarly, just because it's numbers. And um, finally, with our error term here, we know that this, because we've got zero conditional mean of errors, we know that our error is independent of our xi, which is going to be sort of implicitly contained within our bi. So this last term, when I take expectation, is going to disappear. So this is just, now we have what we derived to be the expectation of beta tilde. So in order for this to be true, then we must have a set of conditions abided by our weights, which is namely that we've got to have the sum of i equals 1 to n of bi has got to be equal to, not 1, sorry, it's got to be equal to 0, so that this term actually will disappear. And we also must have that the sum of i equals 1 to n of bi xi is got to be equal to 1, because if it's equal to 1, then I just get beta on the right-hand side. Um, and we then have that beta tilde is in fact unbiased. Okay, so we've got these two equations, the sum of bi equal to zero and the sum of bi xi is gonna be equal to one, as being the constraints which are placed on our linear estimator beta tilde in order for it to be unbiased. In the next video, we are gonna go ahead and derive the variance of beta tilde